Once upon a time, the silly crocodile was walking in the desert. Ugh, ugh, ah, it's so hot. Well, of course it's hot, silly crocodile. You're in the desert. What I really like about creating kids' content in Unreal is this different connection that you get with kids and being able to do it in real time. There's this realness where you get to sort of live in this world. That's so powerful. Hey, everybody, I'm here. Silly Crocodile is, um, <laughs> it's a cartoon character, uh, you know, geared towards helping children understand life. Essentially, it started out as a simple children's toy. It was just a little thing that I created for my kids. Just this little thing here, very simple. Uh, and I saw the magic in this character, and I thought it would be really cool if I could tell really fun stories with it. But as somebody who doesn't have a background in animation or any of that, I was looking for simpler ways to be able to do that. Unreal Engine is what allows me to create things in real time. And real time is real time. Like, literally, I can just call somebody on a Zoom call as Silly Crocodile. I can connect with a child as Silly Crocodile. So it is literally faster than anything else that, in my experience, I've ever used. So then he jumped into a minecart and headed into the cave. But that's not a cave. That's a mine. Oh. <laughs> You're so silly. Because I do play the, the narrator in the series as well as a silly crocodile, I'm literally having conversations with my child self in real time. So I, as a creator, am getting this visual that makes the story real because I'm having real conversations with the character. And I think that's what makes Silly Crocodile different. You can see and be that character right there and then. And I love it. Wow, this place is so cool. The traditional pipeline for creating children's content, or just about any content, is that you have to come up with this idea, you've got all these storyboard artists, you, you have all these people that have their hands in the creative process, you've gotta get funding for it, because it's a lot that you gotta do, and then the creative process. Yeah. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm sitting here going, all right, well, it's Monday, I gotta come up with an idea. Oh, I got an idea. Turn on the microphone and turn on Unreal Engine and I start recording. Oh, that was good. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and put some music into that thing and slap in some cameras and do some VFX and then, you know, work on that until yeah, maybe Friday and then it's up and done and then I get to have my weekend. And so many people right now, it's funny, they're trying to figure this out, but they have no idea the power of Unreal Engine and everything that is happening right now in that space. And that's what's really great. Unreal Engine allows me to do many, many things and it's not just moving his mouth it's walking around it's changing the world in a click of a button i mean i'm not using a motion capture suit i'm literally just using my iphone and just a cheapo controller and i can do this on you know an old laptop yeah. Yeah. something else that's really great is when you're creating a series like this you can lean into trends so much faster okay like Flora's Lava has always been kind of a hot trend for kids. I mean, even since I was a kid, right? But Easter was coming up and kids were searching chocolate and all of that sort of stuff. And so I saw in the trends that chocolate and Flora's chocolate started coming up. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna lean to this. So I made a video about that. And then as soon as I released it, it was just like fire. It actually did really well on LinkedIn as well, which is surprising. <laughs> There's that voice again. Frog, I am the narrator. I'm helping Silly Crocodile head to- You're in his head too? Being a solo creator is a really interesting experience because it's like everything I'm doing, I'm doing on my own and I'm telling my own stories the way that I want to tell them on my own budget, on my own time. When I talk to other people from the traditional pipeline, they're often looking at this and going, how and why are we not doing this? And they should.